Hey everybody, Pete, Steve Porter, and uh, Fiasco here at the Contemporary. We're actually in the Contempo Cafe, going to have some breakfast before uh, our day starts. And uh, weather outside is kind of crappy, so um, going to see how it is here. Okay, so I had the uh, bounty platter, which was uh, scrambled eggs, uh, bacon, sausage, hash browns, some fruit, and a Mickey waffle. Um, so that was eleven ninety nine. Um, so here's my first suggestion: charge three dollars more and put good food on the plate because the eggs were cold. I took a bite of the Mickey waffle. I was nonplussed by the Mickey waffle. Um, uh, the bacon was okay. Sausage were just like the little two little breakfast sausage links. It was really disappointing. It was really, really disappointing. Not worth eleven ninety nine. Like I said, add three dollars more onto it and actually make it put a good meal together, that would be fine. This save you money. I had the grilled breakfast sandwich. Uh, it was uh, bread. Uh, and then egg and cheese and ham all kind of layered in with each other. Uh, it was actually really good. I was impressed with the bread. I thought it was delicious. Um, the way that they kind of did like a cross section of like ham, then cheese, and egg, they're like very layered. Uh, it was like every bite was satisfying. Um, so even though mine was the cheapest, I was very, very happy with what I got. Um, it was also a pretty big sandwich. This is not like you know, little piece of toast between, you know, with, with egg in between. This is a, a pretty large sandwich. It covered the whole plate. Um, so, yeah, I thought it was very good. So I got the Mickey waffle with bacon. This was actually the big Mickey waffle. And like that was on Pete's plate, he got the small ones. This was the larger one. Um, I actually really liked my Mickey waffle. It was uh, fluffy, but then again, that's from a different batch and a different size. So, like, when I got to the ears, I did notice a little bit of a crunch. So I'm assuming that Pete's is probably a little more crunchy than mine um but i really like the strawberries that they gave me on the side i like to put the strawberry with the waffle it tasted really good with the maple syrup and everything uh bacon was perfectly crispy one thing i will say though is for 10 bucks which that's what this was it was 9.99 um i'd expect a little bit more than a single mickey waffle and two slices of bacon for for 10 bucks i mean that's kind of price per value not that good it tasted good but this is something that I'd assume would be on like a kid's menu for like maybe $6.99, maybe even $7.99. 10 bucks is a little steep, I'd say, but overall it was good. All right, so we finished our very brief breakfast and I'll tell you, I, I was not impressed. I liked it. I was not impressed at all uh, for 12 bucks. I'm not, and I, I had a burger here last night and I mean, I just ate the, the, the burger itself, not the bun. It's just crappy counter service food. There's nothing special about it, nothing. Which is a shame because they've got a lot of good, a lot of good dining between the Wave and uh, California Grill, a lot of good dining at the Contemporary. So I know you like yours. Yeah, I thought it was okay. I still think that of the monorail quick service locations, Contempo Cafe is by far the worst. It's not even, and it's not even a competition. Um, but I thought my breakfast sandwich was good. It was fine. Yeah, and like I was saying, my food was good um, for what it was. But like, it was more like a six ninety nine or seven ninety nine kids menu item in my opinion. It wasn't really worth ten dollars. It was just a waffle and a couple slabs of bacon. I mean, ten bucks. That's that's not really a good price per value, but the food itself was was good. I will say the coffee's good. Yeah, Joffrey's. But that's it. That's it. And that's it. So, thanks for joining us. Bye, guys.